My name is Jose Ortiz. I'm teaching at Irrigan Junior Senior High School. I'm an English language arts teacher for seventh and eighth grade. I went to a high school that was for pre-law. So when I left high school, I knew that was what I was gonna do, but there was no opportunity for college. So I looked at the military and the Marine Corps recruiter really convinced me that I wanted to come home and look like him and not like the other branches. So when I got out the Marine Corps, I knocked out my first bachelor's and master's within two and a half years. I started teaching and I lucked out that there was an alternative school. And when I said, I don't have experience, is that a problem? The principal actually said, I prefer no experience because you don't come with any bad habits. So after uh, three years, I really fell in love with teaching because I knew where my heart was. I applied to the Oregon Rural Teacher Corps because it was an opportunity to collaborate with people locally, people that are dealing with the same issues as me and have different ideas about how to overcome those issues that they're facing. A lot of the skills I'm learning is just how to manage the classroom, how to make connections with the families. That's been a really big one, listening to people that have lived in this community and how they use that connection, and newcomers like myself that have to reach out and do the work from scratch. I wasn't even aware before the ORTC how many people were in the program that were right here within an hour of me. Being a teacher in a rural area, sometimes feels like you're on an island. Even though I have teachers surrounding me, we're not very supported out here. Our funding is not as good. Our building is from the 70s and was originally a middle school. And yet now we house the high school and the middle school. And it was last year when a student pointed out that I was the only Hispanic teacher. And realizing that in a population that's 50% Hispanic, it made me question what is my role and what do I represent to the kids? So it is definitely something that you get a little bit more weight on your shoulder when you realize that, but it makes you more important and you feel more appreciated for that as well. If I taught even in Hermiston, which has 3,400 students, they wouldn't notice when I come to a track game. Every time I go to a sporting event, there's students pointing me out or saying my name, and you know that you're appreciated more in a small school. Irrigant is a community that has so much opportunity for growth. When I was in a more populated area, there were tutoring centers, there were bigger schools, we had more school psychologists, there were a lot of things out there. But in a small area like this, a lot of students fall through the cracks and you might meet an eighth grader that reads at the second grade level and is not on an IEP. So I've noticed that the biggest challenge for me is dealing with those people that have fallen through the cracks and trying to help them as much as you can. With that said, the families out here are truly loving and supportive, and I think that they care a lot. So these students have the most to gain, and when they get towards the upper end of high school, you can really see the ones that have that passion take off and the grades really improve, and I think that's awesome to watch. I always tell my students, college is the last option for you, but it needs to be your choice, not something that your grades dictated for you. So I try to push them to the opportunities and I want them to understand that there's a life outside of Erie and if you stay here, that's wonderful when it's your choice. If you work at the gas station, I love it as long as that's where you choose to work, not the only place that would hire you. I also like to talk to the kids and ask them what they want in life and find out what their why is. Why do they wake up in the morning? Who do they want to cheer them on? I think some teachers underestimate just asking, if you had a good day today, who should I call home? Is it your parents? Is it your grandmother? Is it your big sister who you want me to brag about? Find out that person that really gets through to them, that they want that positive feedback. And this is their opportunity to change their life. I might not be able to help all of them, but at least one a year is what I set as a goal for myself. I like teaching because the kids, you can really get addicted to them learning something. When you see kids that are talking or disruptive and they're actually quiet, they're not looking at a screen and they're paying attention to you, you know that you're making a difference. I'm actually moving into the special education department next year and that's to get me back to my passion of really making a difference. One thing I like about alternative schools is that the focus is not the testing. And with those students, you just try to move the needle and see if you can make their lives better. And I get to move back into that type of environment. So I think it'll be a big change. I'm excited for that. And the district has been really supportive.